Hello, hello. Hi. Hey, what's up, Hermes? Good evening. Hi, good evening. How's it going? Hi, good evening. Good evening, Maria Luisa. How's it going? How are you? I'm great. It's raining cats and dogs right now. Oh, yeah. What, what happened with mustache? With my mustache? <laughs> Come on, Maria Luisa. I, I, I couldn't. It's I gone. Couldn't, yeah, it's gone. I couldn't deal with it anymore. I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't stand it. I was, I, I was, I felt a little nutty, you know, so scratching my face all the time. So I just decided to get rid of it, get rid of it. You know, what is it to get rid of something? What? Yeah, when you get rid of something, get rid, deshacerse de algo, deshacerse de, okay? So I got rid of it and I also cut my hair a little bit. I'm good. Okay. So we're going to start. Can you give me one second? I'm going to close the windows. Do you hear the noise? A little, little. A little bit. Okay. Give me one second. You have a sleeping, Marlon. No. Okay. Hi, Maria Luisa. Hopefully Hi. that's better. Hermes. Yes, I'm very, I'm very tired. Mm -hmm. Just tired. Very tired and sleepy. Very tired and sleepy. Very tired. Come on, guys. It's Thursday. You're still missing tomorrow. We are missing tomorrow. I'm missing Thursday. I mean, Saturday, too. I'm also missing Saturday. Okay, so yesterday we talked about simple past with the verb to be. Hmm. Were you fine after the, the, were you okay after the rain yesterday? Were you okay after the cold night? Yes? Yes, it was good. You were good. Okay, perfect. Um, hmm. Were you an English student before this course? Mm -hmm. Were you an English student before this course? This course. This course, this English course. This course. You were? Marlon was an English student before this English course. So right now we are in an English course. Rebecca, were you an English student before this course? No, I wasn't. I studied English in the university a long, long time ago. Long, long time ago. Okay. At the, at the university, sounds better. At the university, really? Great. Um, as a career, no, it's, it was a course to... A course to... Yes, it was a requirement for graduation. To, to graduate? Okay, it was a requirement to, to get graduated, to get graduated. Okay, wow. Okay, excellent. What about you, Hermes? Were you, uh, were you an English student before? Yes, uh, many years ago, I... I was student in um, I don't remember what, what is the name the don't say it, don't worry. <laughs> we don't want publicity. So it was uh, an English Academy. Yes. At an English but, Academy. But a little time. A short, a short time. A short time. A short time. 
short term. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Okay, guys. So remember, we use the past of be without ing to talk or to use it in simple past. You can only add numbers. Okay. Uh, you can only add, we said prepositions. Okay. I was at Metro Centro yesterday. You see, I was at Metro Centro. Huh? I was, I was her boyfriend. Hmm. I was her boyfriend. And that's a pronoun, right? Okay. Um, adjectives. Adjectives. I was tired. Someone said I was tired. You got it? Do you have any questions with that part? Nobody? Francisco, are you okay with that? Yes. Okay. You're making me dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Stop moving, buddy. Okay, let's go. Okay, so today we're going to go with um, the next part on your platform. And we're going to use something that I love, to be honest with you. I love to talk about the past, the memories. And we use this way of speech, this way of speaking, used to to talk about habits in the past, okay? What you used to do, what you were accustomed to do, okay? Or how, how things used to be. And that's a topic that we will talk about today in this class. I will split you later so you can have a conversation in groups to talk about how things used to be in your childhood compared to how things are nowadays. <gasps> okay, for example, when I was a kid, uh, everything used to be very quiet. Everything used to be more secure. There didn't used to be, there didn't used to exist gangsters, for example gang members okay or there were there used to be there used to be gangsters but they weren't so violent you know so things have changed we're gonna do that after watching the lesson so please pay attention i will mute you and let's go with the video let me know if you can hear if you cannot hear or if you encounter any problem with the video okay Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used. And after that, I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. 
I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint, and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite, though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. You still refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're, we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case be. Very messy, but uh, now um, very neat. There we go. So the subject in our sentence is I. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors right now. Uh, okay, I need you to be very honest and tell me, are you getting it? Are you understanding? Are you catching the idea? No? Yes. Yes? Please be honest. Do you have any questions? Alguien tiene alguna pregunta ahorita? Por favor, no se quede con la duda. Everything. Good, Ricardo. It's okay. Everything. 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 Okay. Can so, you repeat it? Sure. Not a problem. Now, en estos ejercicios, cuando vemos gramática nueva, Quiero que te enfoques en una cosa para adquirir el conocimiento súper rápido. Y es la, la estructura, ¿sí? Reemplazar, por ejemplo, el sujeto. Used to es algo fijo. Used to. Ahora, vamos a abarcar esto súper rápido. De una manera positiva voy a ocupar el pasado de used, porque used to, para que quede claro, quiere decir solía. Estaría diciendo, yo solía... Y luego vendría un verbo en la forma base. ¿Cómo dirías entonces, Ricardo? Yo solía comerme 20 pupusas. I used to eat 20 pupusas. Very good. Now I can't. Ahora ya no puedo, ni yo. Nadie puede. I can't, I okay. can't. In and festival, it, maybe. In festivals, but you didn't get fat, right? You didn't used to get fat. Listen, you didn't. Used to get fat. Y esa es la segunda regla. Quiero que nos enfoquemos en eso. So, positive, used to, en pasado. Y el verbo que le sigue sería en, en presente uh, simple, en forma base. Mira el ejemplo. I used to be very messy. I used to be very messy. Solía ser muy desordenado. But now I'm very neat. Okay. Ahora soy muy ordenado. Okay? That's okay. clearer. That's clearer, right? Está más claro. Good? Better. 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 Okay, let's go with the second structure. Let me move forward. Let me move forward. You'll have the pencil. Okay. Me too. Still working with that. I used to be very missing, but now I'm very neat. 
uh, still a lot of sports when I was a kid. I used to play a lot of sports. That's the second example, still past and then present. Okay. Now, using the negative, vamos a usar el negativo. I didn't, mira, used to. Como tenés el auxiliar didn't, use, vuelve a su forma base. Y el siguiente verbo sigue estando en su forma base también. I didn't used to. Okay? Yo no solía. Uh -huh. Lo que sea, en, pre en presente simple. I didn't used to be so fat. I didn't used to be so white. But after the pandemic, you know, I became whiter. Yep, I didn't used to be so white. Yeah. I didn't used yeah. to I didn't used to like to smoke. I didn't used to like to smoke. Now I love it. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Give me your examples. Um Francisco, can you make an example with that with the negative statement? In the negative statement, uh, maybe um, I didn't used to make much exercise. To do more, much exercise. You mean like lifting and doing exercise? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, perfect. I didn't used to exercise a lot. I didn't used to do much exercise. Good. Okay, let's go with Edwin. Edwin, can you give us an example? Negative statement. Yep, negative statement. Negative statement. Statement. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, practice sport. Yep, look. I, sorry, I didn't used to practice sport. Perfect. Okay, I didn't oh. used to practice sports. Give me some compliment. Before of pandemic. Before the pandemic, before the, the pandemic. The pandemic. You got it. Okay, very good. Rebecca, Rebecca, would you like a oh, holy mother? Sorry, that was really strong. Okay, Rebecca, would you like to give us a storm? Yeah, mm -hmm. strong storm. Yeah. I didn't use to wake up early, <laughs> late when I was in. I didn't used to wake up late when I was at school, when I was at school. <laughs> was in school when I was in school. Okay. Yeah, it's true. I didn't used to wake up late <laughs> during the pandemic. Okay. <laughs> Sounds negative, right? Now, there is, that was negative. There is another way to talk in negative form. Okay. And that's using the word never. As you can see in that example over there, Okay, here, I never used to. And this is the same thing. So if you use never, remember, a positive sentence becomes negative if you use never. So it is the same thing. I never used, in this case, you have used in past. Pay attention to that, okay? I never used to call you at night. I never used to call you at night. I never, I never used to hang out. I never used to hang out with friends <laughs> at Zona Rosa, you know. Okay. Is that clear? No? Yeah. Questions? Yes? Okay. Bien, repito, y perdón que hable en español, pero quiero estar seguro de que todos están entendiendo. Siempre algún compañero le da pena y no hace la pregunta y se queda con la duda. So, vamos. Any questions? Come on. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. 
Okay, time's up. So we have three forms. Now pay attention as well. Whenever you have the auxiliary did, the verb use goes on its base form. I repeat, cuando el auxiliar did esté presente, el verbo use va en su forma base. Igual el que le precede. Use to, verbo en, en, en forma base. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, I do have a question. Let me just pull up something here. Open something up really quick. Okay, so we're gonna work with a question, a very open question. Is Peru. Is what, I'm sorry? Is Peru. That's Peru, right? That's um, Machu, Picchu. Machu Picchu. Yes, I dream, Machu I dream visiting Machu Picchu. It's beautiful. You went there, right, Maria Luis? I remember you used to travel. I remember <laughs> you used to travel, Maria Luisa. I remember you used to travel. When I yeah. met you? <laughs> I remember you used to, you, we used to have fun on the break, on the break, on the English classes. Remember, we used to have fun in the classes <laughs> at La Salle, right, Maria Luisa? Yes. Yes, I remember. I just remember. Okay. So, do you think uh, your neighborhood <laughs> correct me if I'm doing something wrong here? No, I think I got it right. Okay. Neighborhood. neighborhood. Uh -huh. You think your neighborhood has changed? How, how, let's use the grammar, did it used to be? How is it nowadays? How is it nowadays? So do you think your neighborhood was, has changed? How did it used to be? How is it nowadays? Okay, so I think, listen, I think my neighborhood um, has changed a lot. Um, I used to live in Santa Ana, I'm from Santa Ana. So in my neighborhood in Santa Ana, there used to be a lot of people really late at night. We as kids, we used to come out of high school and then go to a park called, called El Redondel in El Palmar. And we used to play basketball all the whole evening, you know, the whole evening we used to play basketball and there was no danger. They, they, there wasn't any danger. There, they, there didn't used to be, there didn't used to be any danger in the, on the streets, you know. So you could spend the whole night with your friends playing football, playing basketball, playing Mika, playing, playing hide and seek, playing hide and seek. And that was great. It was a great childhood. Nowadays, nowadays, um, everything has changed. Now you go there and it's like too quiet. There's, there's nobody on the streets like it used to be, okay? So that's your mission right now. You have to answer these questions in groups together, participate, and tell us about your neighborhood. Teacher, pero yo no crecí aquí, yo crecí en Estados Unidos. Yo, mi vecindario, creo que sigue siendo igual aquí. Yo no sé. Make it up. Okay. <laughs> Again, make it up. Inventatelo. Sí, chicos, no se dice invent it. Okay. Make up. I don't know. I don't even know how to invent it. No, make it up. Make okay. it up. Yeah. Make it up. Do you have questions? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions regarding the activity? Hello. 
Chicos, necesito que me hablen, que se comuniquen conmigo, porque si no me siento solito, es raro aquí. Tengo miedo. Yeah. Okay, I go on the chat, on the Zoom yeah. chat. You have on the Zoom chat the questions, okay? So I'm gonna split you in groups. Any questions? No. Mm -hmm. It's just a conversation. No. Follow the example. No. Follow the example that I just did. And I'll be with you as usual to correct your grammar and your speaking, okay? Let me split okay. you in groups. Da, 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 da. Again, no Spanish, just English. Let's go. <clears throat> Siempre espero a ver quién se mete primero y el primer grupo que se arme, ahí voy. Good night. Ok. Eh... I am the, the, the question. Hmm. Hmm. A ver, um, do you think your neighborhood has changed? In your, in your. Mm -hmm. Your name change. Your neighborhood change. Exactly. You know, neighborhood is what is neighborhood? Vecindario. Vecindario. Uh -huh. Vecindario. Mm -hmm. Que se cambió. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has it changed? Si ha cambiado. Has it changed? Y respondo. The, the answer is in. Sorry, give me a second. Seeing the. The, my best thing that I used to. My neighborhood? My neighborhood used to. Used to be, uh huh. Used to be. Um, the chase more. Before the pandemic. It changed after the it, pandemic? I changed after the pandemic. The, it covered the, the persons. People? Mm -hmm. The people, sorry, the people in the walking. Okay, so people used to go out go walking out. go out walking look at the chat mm -hmm. so people, people used to go out walking at walking. night at night mm -hmm. people used to go out walking at night okay sigamos la estructura a ver veamos uh, okay. tengo un sujeto people mm -hmm. okay Voy a escribirlo acá subject Luego tengo used to para hacer oraciones positivas. Okay. Luego tengo un verbo mm -hmm. en su forma base. Base verb. Ok. And then the complement. Esa es la estructura que vamos a seguir todos ahorita. Ok. En este caso vas a ocupar mucho el it. Porque estás hablando de tu vecindario. Sería it used to be. Hmm? Podría, decir, podría decir incluso there used to be there used to be uh, a lot of kids hmm? okay in my case 
in my case. Mm -hmm. uh, in my case, it used to be uh, many people in the street. There, and, there used to be. Solían haber, ahí solían haber. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Used to be. Uh -huh. And there used to be um, used to be children uh, play the games the games juego de no sé cómo decir <laughs> playing kids games uh -huh. mm -hmm. play kids games and there and and how is the in nowadays? Nowadays, very good. Nowadays, nowadays. In now, nowadays. In nowadays. Uh, they're used to so quiet. It is. It is. Yes. Very quiet. It is very quiet. Very quiet. Ayer nos pasamos al presente simple. Yes. It is very quiet. Okay. And nowadays it is very quiet. Okay. Very, yes. Yeah, very good. You said it right. Thank you. Erika, Mercy, please okay. try it. Okay. It used to be um my case and I don't um meet my friends and my house um after the pandemic. No After the pandemic, it is uh, how? No, uh, no, no, um, no meeting in uh, my house. Oh, there are no meetings in my house. Yes. I follow you. Yes. The, excellent. Uh, before the pandemic, there used to be meetings in my house. Mm -hmm. After yeah. the pandemic, there are no there meetings. Are no meetings. So nowadays there are no meetings in my house. Wow, no it's true. It is true. Yeah. Okay, keep going with the examples. I'm going with another group, okay? okay. Thank you. Okay. In, in the case the who did to used to be, or es como en... How did it used to be? Es como solía ser en el pasado. How we used to be your neighborhood. Ajá. ¿Cómo era, tu, cómo, cómo era en, en el pasado tu, tu vecindario? How did it used to be? How did it used to be? Uh -huh. How we used to be your neighborhood. Yes. yes. I, I used to be your neighbor. Sería yo solía ser tu vecino. I used to be your neighbor. How your neighborhood used to be. Uh, <laughs> How your neighborhood used to be. Como solía ser tu vecindario. Como tu vecindario solía ser. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try something with you guys. Um, because I think we're not getting the idea. Everybody, let's go. Okay, so let's practice all together. Okay, um, I'm going to give you the ideas. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, translate. Okay. My neighborhood, my neighborhood used to be very quiet. Excellent. Oh, it. Okay. Como no mencioné el vecindario, puede ser it. Okay. It used to be very quiet. Excellent. What about solía haber muchos árboles por doquier? Rebe? Hola. <laughs> I know you can do it. I know you can do it. It used to have a lot of free everywhere. Okay. 
What about there used to be trees? Did you use trees? I'm sorry. Uh, everywhere. Uh huh. Trees everywhere. That's right. Okay. There used to be. Okay. There used to be trees everywhere. Oh, may, there used to be many trees. Thank you. That's the word you said. I'm sorry. There used to be many trees everywhere. Um, let's see. Okay. Let's see, Abigail. No, okay, Victor. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, it is uh, it is used to be play uh, late in the night. Okay, what is the subject, Victor? Uh, uh, all the children. Children. Okay. The the children. Uh, uh, so used, so used to used to be. Oh. Play used to be used to be play play. Why play? Play football. No, look at the sentence. Translate. Ah, okay. Sorry, sorry. Los huh? niños used to be um, sleep uh, late. Used to be sleep late. Mm, how do you say acostarse? Look. Uh, uh, Mm, uh, Walking to bed. <laughs> to bed to do, to, uh, okay, uh, go. Go to bed. Go to bed. Repeat. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Ahora, chicos, cuando estoy generalizando, no necesito el artículo the. Okay? The children that I knew. Ahí sí. The children that I knew. Los que yo conocí. Muy específico. Okay? The children that I, that I knew. Children, de manera general, children used to go to bed. How? Uh, late. Late. Very good. Children used no, to go to bed late. Uh, no, no tendría que ser el, el plural de niños, children. El plural oh. de niños es children, correcto. Ah. Okay. Kid or child. Es el singular. Claro. Correcto. Children. Children es Children es el plural. Jamás le agrego a la palabra children una S. Eso no se hace. Sí, es el plural. Se llaman plurales irregulares. Y a este punto sería bueno darles una repasadita. ¿Ok? Remember. Person. People. Right? Men. Mm -hmm. Men. 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 Okay. The same as woman. Woman. Women. Women. Excellent. Women. Very good. You say women. These are irregular plurals. Y hay algunos que no se pueden pluralizar. Por ejemplo, fish. A lot of fish. Too. Okay. Got it? Got it. Okay. Vamos, chicos. Good. Now, continue. Try to do at least three sentences by yourself. By yourselves, I'm sorry. Okay? Okay. Try it, try it, try it. The last sentence is the last sentence is uh, how how is it nowadays? Es es supuestamente se traduce como como dice el lugar. Podría ser que es un lugar muy visitado por turistas. In English, it's a place. It uh, is a place very visited. It's a very visited place. 
visit uh, by tourists. By tourists. 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 It's a place very visited for tourists. The opposite is a very visited place. It's a very um, visited it's a place. place. It's a very visited place. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, quietly place too. In a quiet place. Okay, so it used to be a very visited place. I see. It used to be a very visited place. place. Okay. Todo lo que califica al nombre, Ricardo, va antes del nombre. Es opuesto al español. En el español diría, es un lugar muy visitado. Pero como estoy calificando que el lugar es muy visitado, very visited, visited place. It's a very visited cold place. Es okay. un lugar muy visitado y helado. Ok. Uh, ok, yeah. ok. It's a very visited. Ok. Is and, uh, and now uh, when I refer to place uh, to mention the the legend, what legend? Now, legend uh, about the uh, what what person is. Uh, Aquino, um, ah. he say, um, he say, uh, Anastasio Aquino. Oh, you, you were talking okay. about Anastasio Aquino. Uh, okay, this the, that's an urban that's an urban story. Legend. Oh, serious. Story. An urban story. Uh, urban story. Una leyenda urbana, una historia urbana. Okay. What happened with Anastasio Aquino? Uh, I remember you know, when a little I read I read a, a song some part he he um, had, no had mm -hmm. he was uh, he was he was hanged the man was, was hanged. Yes. He was a a hint a, a native a native Salvadorian. Yeah. Really? I remember that. I studied international relations and, and we we used to talk about Anastasio Kino. That was nineteen thirty three, I think, right? Sort of. Yeah. Nineteen thirty three. Yes. I remember. Okay, guys, let's go back. Let's go back so we can do more examples, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so was anybody able to complete a full conversation? Bien, eh, voy a detener la clase un segundo porque necesito que cambiemos algo en, en la interacción de la clase. Les decía el primer día, eh, yo no tengo que estar a hablar, 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 hablar. No es, es el punto. Si ustedes no hablan, yo no voy a ver en qué um, área de, de oportunidad tenemos que trabajar. La primera que he identificado en este grupo son los ED endings, los sonidos finales, ya los abarcamos, vean los videos anteriores. Este día estamos tratando un nuevo tema, no es gramatical, fuera de contexto, siempre seguimos con el pasado simple, pero estamos hablando de hábitos y es muy útil. Ahora, me urge que ustedes participen en la clase por lo menos asintiendo o, o afirmando 
confirmándome que, que sí están escuchando, que sí están yeah. entendiendo, yeah. porque si no, no, no tiene sentido, ¿no? Eh, rápido les comento, eh, yo me estoy certificando con la OIT en clases participativas, y pues eh, acá no puedo aplicar muchas herramientas, pues por derechos de copyright no podemos eh, estar utilizando muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Porque el video subido a YouTube. Sin embargo, eh, quiero invitarles a esto, a que la clase sea participativa y no una clase magistral donde solo el profesor se pone a hablar, hablar, hablar. ¿Ok? No ese es el punto. Yo puedo picármela y empezar a hablar en inglés todo lo que quiera, pero no es esa mi misión. Yo tengo que estar seguro de que ustedes están aprendiendo si no de nada sirve eso. ¿Ok? Y hacerles conciencia, esto es una beca no lo vean como un cartón más. No lo vean como un cartón más. Si es que tienen sed de aprender, pues inténtenlo. Y les invito a una cosa nada más. Equivóquense. Porque si no, no tengo trabajo. O sea, de que equivóquense okay. para que yo vea en qué se están equivocando. ¿Ok? So don't okay. be afraid. Vamos a comenzar. Let's start with something else. I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to use the Spanish to, to recall the information. I'm going to use the Spanish to recall the information, your knowledge, as I did with some groups. Um, okay. Puedes usar el traductor de Google si querés, puedes, pero sin poner toda la oración, buscar la palabra que no sepas cómo se dice. Ojo. Okay. Number one. Yo solía ser pobre. I used to be poor. Okay. Excellent. Easy, right? Okay. Ah, easy. More, easy. more there. <laughs> okay. More like that. More like that. Very good. Ah, more like that. Excellent. I more like used that. More to like be poor. Okay. Oh. Yo no solía tener zapatos. Come on, guys. Anybody? I didn't I used to be have to be shoes. Shoes. Ok, alguien I me dijo I didn't used to be. ¿Cuál es el verbo que estoy ocupando aquí después de used to? Have. Have. Uh, have. Uh, con eso. Después de uh, used to viene un verbo en su forma básica. I didn't used to have shoes. 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 I didn't used to have shoes. Ok, very good. Voy a jugar con su mente ahorita. We used to have two meals. Who said it? Excellent, Marlon. Great job. Excellent. We used, I, I love it. Okay. We used to have two We meals. Used to have two meals. Mira two cómo se dice tiempo, tiempo de comida. Two meals. Two meals. Two meals. Two meals. Two meals. 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 Meal. If I if I used to eat, can I say? Like what? We used to eat two meals. Yeah, I used to eat two meals. I used to eat two meals. I used to have two meals. ¿Por qué Marlon ocupó have? Y me llega porque los tiempos de comida vas a ocupar have. Have breakfast, have lunch, have dinner. Have. Have. Oh. Okay. Aún en pasado, I had, I had breakfast. Got it? Got it? I got it. Got it. Excellent. Okay. Uh, give me a sentence, Marlon, in Spanish. I already have one. <laughs> well done. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Used to. Used to. 
What did you say, Victor? They, <laughs> Ricardo, I'm sorry. Did you say they? They? They used to. Uh huh. They used to. Or? Put. They used to. Put? Hmm. No. Good. They used to. Good cartoon. Good cartoon? Yes. Good cartoons, okay, but what is the action? They Hello? used to give. Give? No. Project. Watch. Project. Watch. I'm watching. I Betting. watch. Yeah. What does the they TV do? To... Beds. Oh, the bed. Just... It's a verb. A very it's common so... verb. The machine put. So, no, it's not put. It's not watch. But it's they very use... common. It's one. It's part of the first verbs that you learn. Hello. I see. B. B. They used to. So. Used to. Play. Bro. Play. 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 Yes. 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 In TV. In, on TV. On, on TV. TV. On TV. On TV. On TV. Okay. Okay. In the Friday. Got it? Got it. I read it. So if I tell you I read it, I read it. Lo leí, I read it. I read it. In my phone. In? In? On? On? On my, phone. my cell phone. I read it on my cell phone. Okay. If I tell you I saw it, I saw it in my book. I saw it in, in my book. In my book. I saw it in my book. In my book. So printed, you know, print, printed material you use in. For electronic devices like computers, TV, what else? Whatever, cell phones, you use on. Got it. Oh. Let's continue. Yeah. Whew. Um, hmm. I never used to. Erika, Erika. I never used to. No. Trouble. 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 Alone. 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 Excellent. Un child. The niño. A child. Child. When I was a kid. Uh-uh. A sheep boy. A child. Who said? Child. But you're missing something boy, here. Boy, boy, boy. Boy. No, it's okay. It's okay. Child is okay. But what's going on here? Where is the connector? As a child. A, As a, a, who said a it? A child. Who said a, it? Stephanie, great job. As a child. Excellent. I never used to child. travel alone. As, As a child. A child. A child. As a child, very good. As a kid, as a kid. Kid and child are like very similar, okay? okay. It's the same thing. Okay. Anybody thinking, uh, oh, you know what? Even more difficult. True story, true story. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Oh. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, I used to give me. I used to give. My dad. How long? My dad. Vamos por partes. Vamos por partes. Puedo decir, my dad. I used to. No, ahí ya no soy yo. El sujeto es my dad. My dad. My dad. Used, to, used to give me one color. Juan Colón. Juan Colón. Juan Colón. Juan Colón. I used to buy chocolate. 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 Have you been Chocolate. Yeah, delicious. Yeah. <laughs> another, another, uh -huh. another story. I used to buy uh -huh. uh, caramelo de miel. <laughs> How do you say caramelo de miel? Honey, 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 candies. Candies. Honey, honey candies. Honey candies. Honey candies. Honey candies. Which kind honey of candies? Which the are the, uh, the handcraft? Five hand candy by five cents. By five cents, you used to get for five cents. Yeah. You used to get how many? Five. What? Five can. Five Twenty. Honey can. Oh, five. Five, okay. Five. Uh, how do you say, oh, okay. Uh, hand crafted or handmade, Google it. Handmade, handmade or handcrafted candies, Hermes? Handmade. I don't have anything mm -hmm. handmade here. Handmade? I don't know. Hecho a mano. Hecho a mano. Now, hand, handcrafted. Artesanal. Yeah, handmade or handcrafted artesanal. That's right. But handcrafted is when you craft, when you craft something. I don't know if you can see this, but it is crafted with something very sharpened. Got it? Got it. You used the uh, wool? In wood, Ceramic? yes, you you craft the wood. Some people oh. some people make um, ornaments with soap, for example. How okay. about when you work uh, the the glass? When it you work same... the glass, is handcrafted okay. too, or the leather, the leather from cows. Leather. You understand leather, leather, good. Okay. okay. Good. Bien, eh, si ¿sí notaron algo, muchos de ustedes aún, aún están como pensando en español. Y es normal, es normal. De hecho, esta fase del intermedio es para empezar a cambiar el cassette. ¿Cómo lo haces? ¿Cómo lo logras y lo logras más rápido? Pues hay dos cosas que tenés que hacer ahorita. Volver atrás y revisar lo que ya viste, lo que ya conoces ponerlo en un libro, es decir, investiga y tomando nota, investiga, hay 12 tiempos gramaticales básicos en el inglés, 13, porque el futuro es will y going to, so ahí hay una disputa entre profesores, digamos que hay tres estructuras gramaticales básicas en el inglés, investigalas, ¿sí? Eh, y luego empezás a hacer un checklist, Ya lo tengo, ya lo tengo presente simple, ya lo tengo. El presente simple con el verbo to be también. Ok, presente continuo. ¿Cuál era ese? I am going to, I am eating. Sí, lo, me acuerdo. Me, ¿Qué tanto me acuerdo? Ahí te detenes. Y poniéndole un porcentaje a este punto de cuánto recordás, ¿ya? De cada tiempo gramatical. Terminaste el listado. Terminaste el listado, ok. Y empezás a revisar de nuevo y decís, bueno, de este... Solo tengo un 20% de conocimiento. No me acuerdo cómo era el pasado perfecto continuo. Sí lo vi, sí lo vi. Revisa. Va. Ya te hiciste una introspección de tu conocimiento. Ahora ponelo en papel, papá. Y empezás. Te organizas y decís, el lunes voy a hacer el presente simple. Porque dije, las terceras personas me cuestan. Okay. Martes, ¿qué voy a hacer? Futuro con Will. Lo voy a practicar. El miércoles. Y ahí vas. Un tiempo gramatical por día. ¿Qué vas a hacer? Vas a agarrar cinco verbos y empezás a hacer de cada verbo positivo, negativo, pregunta. Siguiente verbo, positivo, negativo, pregunta. 
Siguiente verbo, positivo, negativo, pregunta, y así vas. ¿Ok? Todos los días. Esto es una recomendación. Esto no es una obligación del programa, no es una tarea que yo te estoy exigiendo que la hagas. Es una sugerencia que la apliques. Dentro de la plataforma, puedes practicar lo que vamos viendo en cada clase, por favor, en los foros de discusión. Y los ejercicios, que esos sí son obligatorios. La plataforma y los ejercicios, ¿ok? Si tienen alguna pregunta, si de verdad quieren aprender, escríbanme. Yo, primero Dios, eh, bueno, durante la mañana les puedo contestar, porque aquí estoy también en la mañana, en este rinconcito de mi casita, eh, tomando llamadas, y pues no hay llamadas, así es de que gracias a Dios tengo, el, tengo ese tiempo para poderles ayudar. O sea, si tienen alguna pregunta, escríbanme. Estoy dispuesto a ayudarles en todo lo que pueda para que superen y alcancen a muchos de sus compañeros, porque aquí tenemos personas que tienen muy, muy buen conocimiento y muy buena pronunciación. Y a ustedes que saben que estoy hablando de ustedes, les pido que me apoyen con sus compañeros y, y a ustedes que creen no saber aún, déjense apoyar por los compañeros que ya saben, a los que ustedes dicen, qué bonito, hablé este, vea. Como dijiste vos, repetí, díganle. Y que le repita, no tengan miedo, por favor, suéltense. Si los salvadoreños somos pues, demasiado aventados, como dicen, abusivos. Pero dale, aquí es donde tenés que ser metido, me decía un jefe. Aquí, aquí, dale, con respeto, ¿verdad? pero se metido cuando tenés que hacerlo. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.